Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use sum function in Excel. This is a mathematical function that can be used to add values. Let me show you how this works. I type sum in Excel. I hit tab to autocomplete and you can see this is one of those functions that can take a series of arguments. So it says number one, number two and so on which means that you can give it a set of numbers and you can continue to give it numbers and it will add it. So in this case I have numbers in A2 to A4. In so what I can do, I can either select individually A2, A3, A4 and then hit control enter. This gives me 60 which is the sum of these numbers or instead of doing this, I can simply go and select this entire range and it says A2 to A4 and it counts all these values within this and now when I hit control enter this gives me the sum of all these three numbers as I mentioned you need not always give it a range or always separate these numbers by comma you can choose to have the first two as a range and the third one as an individual cell reference. This is useful when you have non-contiguous cell ranges. So if I have two numbers here and the third number is here, then I would have to select this here and I would press control and select the third one. So it works the same or you can hit comma and select the cell reference manually. Now I hit control enter and this gives me 60 again, which is the same as this above result. A very interesting thing to note about some function is that if I type an argument in double quotes. This means that this number is in double quotes indicating this is text and I type something manually, a number manually which is 10. I also give it a cell reference A2 and I also use the argument true. Some function can still process all these different arguments. So when I hit control enter it gives me 31. The first thing it did was to convert this text into a number. Excel identified that this is a number because some function can only take a number. So it automatically converts this into a number. The other one is already a number. A2 again is a number. And Excel converts trues to 1 and false to 0. So in this case, this true is counted as 1. And hence, it adds all these numbers 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 and it gives 31. So this is how some function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.